13 this morning and we are once again waking up to the fog outside. I know it's not news you really want to hear. I promise we're going to shake this after tomorrow. So really two more mornings and two more afternoons of the cloud cover and uh, gray skies. Here's a look outside at the C Kansas City Museum as well. Tough to see around the corner here and those lights off in the distance as our air temperatures and dew point temperatures have met matched up again. 34 degrees that relative humidity at 100%. Earlier this morning we found a little bit more of a breeze so that limited some of the denser fog but now it looks like the winds have relaxed even more so we're going to watch these numbers drop off a bit three miles downtown one mile visibility Lee Summit Nomnoster Clinton Payola one mile in Lawrence it's going to fluctuate all morning but it's pretty much going to be about the same conditions that we've dealt with the last several mornings and believe it or not this month uh, this year for the for January we've had 62 percent of the month covered with clouds it's been such a great month the average Average is 41% of the month, so just under half. So we continue to deal with some gray conditions, not only because of the rain over the month, but also the snow chances and the fog. So it's just really led to uh, kind of a difficult one to get through. I promise we are going to see some promising changes by Sunday. And it's as this storm system that's just developing from New Mexico, Texas, Oklahoma, Colorado, as this storm moves away Saturday night and Sunday, we will see influence of sunshine. Sunshine. And I want you to watch this uh, track. This storm is going to sweep across Texas, Oklahoma, bringing areas some more flooding rains, Arkansas, the deep south, but it misses our region completely. Luckily, our ground is so wet, is so saturated, so that we have plenty of time to dry out, hopefully, and allow that water to seep in to the ground. This is the storm that's going to bring Baltimore some rainfall during the game on Sunday. I think the heaviest rain now looks to be moving east before the game begins. So there might be some dry time in Baltimore, which is great news. Temperature wise, 40s. It does continue to trend a little colder out there, but this is a huge difference compared to the game. Of course, they played in the wild card in Kansas City, the divisional matchup in Buffalo. So 40, I think we'll take it at any point. 39 is all we're going to get to today and tomorrow. You can see our breakdown in our uh, planner is that fog improves by lunch. Maybe kids have time to get out to the recess, although it might be quite muddy from the rain yesterday. 44 degrees is the best day in the stretch on Sunday and the next week we're finally going to see a string of 50s show up with a lot more sunshine.